it is Sunday night, it is grocery haul and meal plan night, and would it be a grocery haul on a Sunday if I was filming before midnight? Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share my weekly grocery haul and a meal plan. And of course, it's a Sunday and it is well after midnight. <sighs> you guys, I totally thought I was gonna get this done way earlier than I did, especially since I don't have a whole lot to show you right now. The bulk of my groceries are coming tomorrow morning when I pick them up in my grocery store pickup. Today, I just ran into Publix and Walmart for just a few Ibotta deals. It is their birthday, so they're doing like a birthday bash extra bonus, so I went in there to take care of that, but as soon as I got home, I set my groceries up, and while Daryl put the kids to bed, and there was still chaoticness and tons of sound here, I've been working on my meal prep video. So you guys will have seen that before you've seen this. If you missed it, I'll put it at the end slate of this video, but I've worked really hard on this video. I worked on it all day, because this is like the ultimate meal prep on how you can meal prep a little bit each day as opposed to doing one huge day of meal prep. So there was a lot of footage to kind of condense down to a little bit of time. So I've been working on that all day and now the kids are in bed and it's quiet. So I can show you guys what I got at the grocery store and then tomorrow we'll get into the bulk of what I got at my grocery store pickup. Okay guys, so here's a quick overview of what I picked up tonight at Publix and at Walmart. So at Publix, I spent $35.04, but I already got $6.50 back from Ibotta. So this ended up being like $28 and change. So I thought that was pretty good and I found so many things I've been looking for. So I did get the Success Rice. This is like the boil in a bag white rice I grew up on as a kid. I'm excited to see that it is non-GMO now. And I have tons of rice and I wouldn't have normally bought it, but it had a 70 cents off rebate and it was on sale for $1.50. So I got this box for 80 cents. So I didn't think that was bad to stock the pantry. I did find these Go Go Squeeze Blasts and I haven't been able to find them anywhere. I saw them for the first time on Ibotta and it's new non-GMO Go Go Squeeze Blasts. So it says bigger fruit pouches for on the go and it's apple, cranberry, black currant, and blueberry. I think that's really awesome. They are really huge. My kids are going to love them and we were low on applesauce anyway so that came at the perfect time. Look what I found. I'm so excited. I found my cubed stuffing. Now I don't have stuffing on the menu anytime soon, but I don't really go to Publix too often. Now I will be going back next week, but I'm hoping to literally just run in and run out. When I went in today, what drove me in there was the Priscilla laundry detergent that I love so much. It was going to be on sale and couponed and saving star to the point where I was gonna pay next to nothing but they were sold out. I got a rain check, but everything ends next Sunday. All of the coupons, rebates, everything. So I have to go back next Sunday and fingers crossed that they have it. But besides running in and running out, I don't go to Publix very often. So uh, I picked this up while I was there and I'm already excited about the next time I can make stuffing because I was, this was my other stuffing was definitely lacking because I wanted this. But this is the sage and onion, which is my favorite one, and I cannot wait to make that. I did finally find the Red Baron Scramblers. I like to get these for Daryl. Working at Five Guys, they only serve burgers and hot dogs, and that can get boring. And being that he works a big portion of the day, I like to keep breakfast things in the drop freezer outside for him to just take on the go. So I usually meal prep him like breakfast sandwiches on croissants, but I thought he would like this. It's a breakfast pizza, and this one has a sausage, and it was an Ibotta rebate, so I got that. I did get these last week and everyone seemed to like them. We still have some left, but it seems like they were a hit and I don't see them very often. I found them last time at the Walmart that I'm not normally in, but my regular surrounding stores never carry these. So while I was there, they gave me the rebate back and these were on sale, so I picked it up. This ended up even being cheaper than what I got it at Walmart with the rebate because this was on sale. So I picked up another one of these. 
I'm excited about this too. So this is the Baker's No Bake Dessert Kit in chocolate truffle, and it says they're cookie balls. So it comes with the chocolate cookie crumbs, the semi-sweet chocolate bar, the gold sprinkles, and all you do is add cream cheese. And if you look at them, they look really like... I don't know if you do them right. They look kind of upscale. So I thought maybe this would be something I could save like to send in for Daryl's employees during the holiday time or to add to those little like holiday treat things that I make. And this was an Ibotta rebate. So it ended up being like a great deal, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So I'm excited about that. Uh, something else I'm excited about and it's completely melting. It's like a milkshake um, but this is Jenny's ice cream and the darkest chocolate and this is supposed to be like grass grazed Ohio milk like only the finest ingredients all natural and they have a bunch of different flavors and I've seen them on Ibotta and I wanted to try it but I've never been able to find it anywhere so I was happy to find it at Publix got to use my rebate and I still have waffle cones from Trader Joe's so it's going to be really good in there but I think that I'm most excited about these. Like this is my most excited find of the day. And that's because I've been looking for these for quite some time. So Vanessa, Lemonade Mom, she hauled this one like a while back. And I've wanted it, but she said it was $1.50 at Walmart. And you had to buy three to get a dollar off. So I was like, wow, it's kind of craziness. That was a lot for like a little snack like this. But the terms and conditions, which I've never seen that happen before, for was different in Publix. So these were on sale two for four, but you got 50 cents off of each. So I paid $1.50 for each and they had four different flavors. So I got to get each one and there's also an, an additional bonus. So when I go back next week for the Priscilla, if we like these, I'm going to pick more of these up for us because they are non-GMO, they're dairy and gluten free, and they just sound so delicious. So we got the chocolate chip cookie dough, the chocolate almond butter, the Meyer lemon, which is the one I'm most excited about and the dark chocolate bites so I think these are really good like healthier alternative snacks so I hope we like them so excited about that that was my $28 at Publix which I thought was a great deal and then here was Walmart my total here was $58.64 but I did have $45 that I cashed in on Ibotta that I used towards my purchases today which meant I only had to lay $13 out of pocket and I already hit my bonus hit my October bonus and got a whole bunch of rebates back for this so I think I received another nine dollars back almost not a little over nine dollars almost ten bucks I got back on this purchase so what does that end up making this like three dollars for everything which I think is insane so absolutely love my Ambata and that's why I keep encouraging everybody to go on because times like this they pay for my groceries so uh, I got diapers for Maya and the bedtime underpants for Mason we've already broken into that for him to go to bed uh, Jake asked for iced tea for his lunches so I picked up this brisk this was also an I brought a rebate so I got a thing of sour cream which we get every um, a week anyways I picked this up last week because it was an Ibotta rebate and I was going to use it for a meal, but Maya has been dipping everything and its mother in the sour cream I got in the sour cream and the cream cheese I got last week. So she's, I mean, everything from crackers and chips. So I got another of the Philadelphia whipped chive for her. She's really been enjoying that. Look! They have my Scott's flushable wipes back. I'm so excited. There was a whole display, so at least I know that that was just like a temporary thing. They're back and we're excited. Duke sausages for Jake. Then I got these and these were a buy one, get one free, which I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I thought that's a really good deal. The expiration date isn't for a while from now and these are all sealed. So it's great chocolate milks to take on the go when we have like our early morning to run out. I don't even need to make milk cups for the kids. I can just grab these for the car. So I ended up paying $1.38 for two. So I thought that was a good deal. Um, got the melatonin from Mason and it was 25% more. So I'll take it where I can get it. Excited about that. My Scott's toilet paper, the Hershey's Simply Five syrup. This is the non-GMO version of Hershey's chocolate syrup. So I got that for the kids chocolate milk. Uh, this was an Ibotta rebate and I was going to make Rice Krispie treats, but now I might do my Halloween Rice crispy thing I wanted to do with this and make it easier. 
on myself and this is the cinnamon churro smash crispies and this is like the all natural like non-gmo version of rice krispie treats so i hope the kids will like that Jake wanted Oreos. Of course, he's already broken into them for his bedtime snack. And he also asked for gum, and he likes the watermelon flavor, so I got him that. And then this was something different. Haven't gotten one of these at, really at all, but I'm excited to try it. This was when I bought a rebate, and I saw Vanessa get it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try it too. So this is just crack the egg. So it's a little omelet in a cup, and it comes with the cheese, the peppers and onions, the ham, and the potatoes. And you just add the egg and put it in the microwave, and it's like a little omelet. So I thought that would be good for me. And I did, as Vanessa would say, buy my expensive brown organic eggs, but that's in my grocery store pickup. So I picked up the cheapest eggs that I could find, which was $1.20, which means basically I bought this and got these eggs for free. So you can't beat that. And that is it, guys. So that is what I got for my, what do we say, $3 at Walmart and my expensive trip to Publix. And stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery store pickup and the meal plan. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what my kiddos and I just picked up from the Walmart grocery pickup. I actually have a little miss who's co-starring in my afternoon portion of this video. What are you eating? I have popcorn. You're eating popcorn? Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna be good? While mommy shows what she got at the grocery store? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so starting over here, this is my Sunday paper. I purchased two of them. I purchased this last night when I was out shopping, and I went through all of Publix and all of Walmart and skipped over this twice. But this was included in my $58 to Walmart when I went inside last night. And then here is my typical two gallons of milk. I got the plain mini glazed donuts. I'm actually using this for a Halloween DIY as well as the vanilla pudding. We never buy that, but that's a Halloween DIY as well. Got a bundle of organic bananas. I need these green chilies for a recipe, as well as evaporated milk, not sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk. See what I did there? The right thing, right? All right. Um, got sliced mozzarella cheese for a recipe. Um, got the string cheese for a Halloween DIY, as well as the little candy eyeballs. You guys, this was like almost $4 for this little package which I think is crazy. Uh, I'm going to have to go scout out more because uh, either that or I'm going to have to use like the regular fake eyeballs for some things and then the edible ones and other things. But I had a bunch of DIYs that needed eyeballs and this is not exactly what I was looking for for $4, but it'll have to do for now. Uh, I got these Muddy Buddies. That's going to be for like a Monster Chex mix. I'm excited about that. Um, these little mini M&Ms are for like eyeballs and that kind of thing. I have a bunch of little things I'm going to use for that. So I got the sharing bag. Got a thing of organic chicken broth. Look, Nicole, I am like kind of addicted to your orange juice. Tropicana is so expensive, it's my favorite, but if I can't get it on sale, then I would prefer the one from Trader Joe's. But this is a very close second to the one from Trader Joe's. So I've been getting this, it's the cheaper option. I get the plain original one and everybody is happy. Uh, I got two bunches of broccoli, one red onion, a bag of yellow onions. Actually, I was only gonna get a couple of onions and then the difference of the price of the bag was not very much. So I was like, all right, I'll just get the bag. And then the yellow onion bag was cheaper organic than regular. So went with the organic kind. Um, this was a substitution. I wanted the Caesar, but they only gave me um, the regular one, but that's fine. I'm going to hope this is just to hold me over till BJ's. The one from BJ's is the best croutons ever. So when I go, I will get them from there. I got a plain regular box of the Great Value Rice Krispie Treats. Um, well, Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispies to make Rice Krispie Treats. I have a cute idea for that. So I'm going to use that. Got a thing of romaine hearts for salads. A lot of produce because we were running low on that. Got some celery. Two cucumbers. 
a bunch of tomatoes. Like this is a nice, heavy thing of vine tomatoes. So I'm excited about that. Got a bunch of parsley, but it, you can tell like it needs to get into the fridge. It's starting to wilt. Uh, got a thing of organic strawberries. Got a thing of regular cut French fries. Got a thing of the salty regular pretzel sticks. And then the thing of the great value like scoops. This was also a substitution. Um, I asked for green grapes, they gave me red, but that was fine because the kids like both. And I usually alternate, last time we did get red and the kids gobbled them up, I think even faster than the green. So I was going back and forth like green or red in the app, I decided to do green, they decided for me. So got that, um, got a thing of organic blueberries, got a thing of mushrooms for a recipe. Got boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That is for an uh, upcoming recipe as well. Got some of our French vanilla creamer. These were on sale for 88 cents. This is the Walmart brand like tomato puree. And I'm gonna need to make another pot of sauce. When I went to do that last week, I did not have enough sauce, like actual cans of tomato sauce. So the pot wasn't as big as I would have liked it to be. So I got two crushed tomato with basil, two regular crushed puree, and then four cans of the organic tomato sauce, and my super expensive organic brown eggs. And that was it for Walmart, guys. Now, let's get into the meal plan. All right, guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, October the 8th through Sunday, October the 14th. So today is a special day. So today is my grandfather in heaven's birthday. So happy birthday up there to him. And today is also Mark, Vanessa's husband's birthday. So happy birthday to Mark. And then I just saw Madison post on Facebook that today is her father's birthday. So apparently tons of amazing men were born on the 8th of October. Uh, going to do breakfast today, of course. It's Monday. And I'm going to do a big double batch of the pumpkin pancakes and waffle mix that I got from Trader Joe's. I think that's gonna be part of my pumpkin meal prep. I'm gonna do another meal prep video, but the entire thing be like pumpkin and fall related. So I'm excited about that. Just something fun to do. And we're gonna do that with the turkey sausage that I got last week. And then I wrote fruit here because I was intending on getting a watermelon, um, but the Walmart grocery pickup didn't have it and I didn't get any other like fruit to slice. So I'm hoping that the berries and everything else that we have will make us through the week. Uh, and then Tuesday, we're doing a Taco Tuesday. I'm going to do rice in my pressure cooker. There's like no other way to do rice now. So we're going to do it with like that with some refried beans. Wednesday is a new recipe that I have pinned on my Pinterest board. That is cheesy garlic mushroom stuffed chicken. It looks to die for. And now that my kids love mushrooms, the only person who doesn't really like it is my husband and Jacob. So they can push them off to the side and me and the kids will chow down and it sounds so delicious. And we're gonna do that with mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. And then I'm also going to make a cornbread that I'm going to film as our side dish for Food Hack Friday. Uh, Thursday, we're gonna do steak sandwich, one of our favorite things with those french fries and a cucumber and tomato salad. Just breathe, it is almost Friday, that's right. So I'm gonna do another big pot of sauce as I mentioned earlier when I did it two weeks ago. I thought I had so much more tomato sauce in the house and I didn't, so that big pot that I wanted to make was just enough for dinner. So now I wanna make a big pot so that I can freeze it. So we're gonna do that with spaghetti, since I have a couple packages of that, with some salad. And then, um, and how funny is this? I asked Siri when Columbus Day was, and Siri told me that it was Friday the 12th, but I have Siri in a British accent, and today is Columbus Day, so I put the little sticker here, but it's Columbus Day recognized in England on Friday. So uh, today we're British and Columbus Day is Friday. Hooray. Uh, and then Saturday is the something else we're going to film. This is a new recipe that I got um, out of my Food for Dudes cookbook that we picked up in the Dollar Tree. And this is a segment that just Daryl is going to cook and I'll it'll be up on my channel sometime this month. So I'm excited about that and I know that he's going to be excited about this because one of his favorite recipes he used to cook as a bachelor, like when he would really cook cook, 
was he used to make this pork medallions and a honey mustard sauce. And he's never made it for me, but he's talked about it often. And this is a sweet chili honey mustard and it was supposed to be turkey thighs, but I'm doing chicken thighs. And it's actually supposed to be um, spicy with jalapenos or some other kind of really spicy um, pepper. But I know that that wouldn't go over well. So I substituted that for the green chilies because that's just a flavor and not heat. And I'm doing chicken thighs instead of turkey. But it's virtually the same recipe. And Daryl will share that from the cookbook. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited. And we're going to do that with the noodles and carrots. And then on Sunday, I'm going to make a big pot of chicken noodle soup. It's so much easier to do like a crock pot meal or a big pot like that on Sunday because that's our crazy day where Jake goes to either church or youth group and we're grocery shopping and all that stuff so it gets crazy and I have that soup starter kit from um, the Dollar Tree so it should be pretty easy and that is it guys so that is it for this week's meal plan uh, my link for the grocery store pickup is always in the description box if you guys want to try that I just put a poll on my Instagram today and said if this is offered in your area have you tried it and the poll is like winning hands down that no, people don't try it. So I'm super curious on why people don't want to try the grocery pickup. I feel like it's worth it to just give it a shot one time or at least in a time when you're in a pickle, you're not feeling well and it's just convenient to use a service like that than opposed to going into the grocery store because I know for me, that's wicked time consuming and that really does help with impulse buying. Like my total today was $72. So I can't really beat that. Um, if I would have gone inside, I would have spent double that, I'm sure. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If I have recipes or links for anything, any videos, as always, everything is in the description box. So much info in there, guys. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. I post a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on the channel. And for everybody else, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.